Hello everyone, my name is Dennis. I'm working here as a captain in this container ship, City of Alexandria. We are trading here in South America, calling the countries of Brazil, Chile, Peru, and Ecuador. Today I'm gonna walk you around the vessel from forward to aft and explain you a bit of what are the things that we can see around the, the deck area. So please join me on this vlog. Thank you. room this is the workstation stability basically ship's office and this is ship officers working area uh, ballasting and cargo matters Ngayon, labas tayo, so we'll go around the deck so this is the aft part of the ship after the accommodation. Oh, the one up. It's the paint locker. I mean, Pitura. Paint store. The mga bagong supplies. It's the gangway. The passageway. Uh, and a panaho, no? So, cross bay. This is all the way up. For our uh, glassing and containers. Okay. We'll discuss that later on. Right now, this is going forward. It's a forward station. where we rig our pilot ladder because we have a high freeboard we always use combination ladder ng ladder na to oh. boss Ano nun? Yan ang buson. Walagang... Uh, wala na, wala na hang over. Hindi, video mo. Meron pa lang eh. Ha? Huh? Meron pa. Meron pa? Oo. Oh, ihiga na lang eh. Ah, ihiga na. Ano yan, ano yan? Ano pa, ano pa? Yan, 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 yan si Tro. Yan ang main Tro. <laughs> Oo. Oh. Ilang taon ka na, Cypros? Ano? Baintidos! Oo, oh, baintidos. <laughs> Marami nang ini, marami nang ano, tinatad na barko ito. Marami nang ini-scrap. Ano 'yan, repaint lang. Mas kwan mo, pwede hindi na. Tus Peter, anong ginagawa mo dito? Watcher? Sir, na ano 'yan? Ano lang. Sa daanan daw sir, nasa daanan. Ha? Nasa daanan kayo kaya. Ah, ganoon. Pa, patingin-tingin. Ah, traffic, traffic. Ege, ikot muna, ikot. Okay. Ni mga crew. So Underway, and, uh, may maintenance sila. So, this is our only chance na pag maintenance pag maganda rin panahon. So, right now, napaka ganda ng weather. Napaka linaw. So, day 23, day 22.
we are somewhere on the forward part. So, ganito ang paglashing. How they lash the containers using uh, lashing bars and turnbuckles. We call this the cross base. Depending on the design of the ship, you can stack up to six, seven high, seven tiers, or even more. No? Uh, depending on the arrangement plan for the vessel. So here we have the embarkation ladder for the for emergency. And that is a life craft over there. These are the instructions. Okay. We are under the container. Seating forward for then. That is our gearbox for the lashing. Some uh, twist locks and lashing materials are uh, stored. The, under the forecastle area, storeroom, digging storeroom. Okay. You can see there a lot of things chain locker, mm -hmm. so everything is stored here. This is uh, used for painting on the accommodation, uh, working aloft. Some damaged twist locks, so the chain. This is the canter, canter shackle, D-type for the link. Yung mga pamalo for removing the pin. Time we have to remove this pin here. So this is a, one of the chain lockers. There are two. So the, the chain passes here from the outside and then is stored here inside the chain locker. Okay. So when the chain is released, when the anchor is released, all the chains from the inside goes out then passes here all the way down to the water. So we have a lot of materials also here. Good luck. This is a boson store, so you can see a lot of equipment. Um, like a workshop, deck workshop. And you see the ropes over there. Mooring ropes. The, the white one is the towing line. In case of uh, the vessel, in case the vessel lose uh, propulsion, and we are forced to, we cannot uh, propel towards the, the shore. We need assistance from the tug, so the tug will pull us using this line. Here are some ropes. These are uh, for the winches. So, yung mga mooring winch are uh, run by electrical power. So here you can see also the crew maintain this uh, twist locks. has to move. Closing and opening. So that's how it will look when you this you put inside the container. Ah no not inside but in the footing of the container. And then twist it to lock. So the container one container is uh, fixed with four twist locks secured by four twist locks so this is part of the maintenance that the crew are doing 
It's a continuous maintenance, repair and repainting. Looks nice. Okay, now let's go to the forecastle area. This is where the forward station used for mooring the ship to the berth. So this is our forecastle area. We have here the bits. Safe working load of 65 tons. Capstan has to turn. This has to turn. You can see here the mooring ropes. And this is our chain. I've been telling about Galing Sababa. Goes all the way up and passes the here going outside. So, this is uh, one of the dangerous areas, one of the dangerous workplace. When the vessel is uh, coming alongside, people who work here should be experienced enough because uh, it's quite dangerous to stay here when you don't have the knowledge of what's going on. You might get caught by the ropes and uh, worst is when you put all it might hit you somewhere. You uh, can or worse is you will die. Windlass, mooring winch. So each has a different purpose. Windlass is for the anchor. So when we have to secure the vessel to the ground while we wait for our schedule or seek shelter, we have to drop the anchor and uh, the vessel will just go around the anchor chain. While the mooring ropes are used to secure the vessel to the berth. And the ropes will pass through these areas from the winch, goes here to the fair leads. We call these the fair leaders. Let's turn. And these are also fair leaders. Only the design is different, but they have the same purpose. Uh, this is far more better than this one. We'll go behind. This where the operators or the boson, the, the crew operates the system, the equipment. It's a big chain. control here and this is for the brake opening closing green indicates right red indicates left or we call it starboard and port so for this vessel we use uh, four headlines and two spring lines when the vessel is moored to port side, these two lines goes up as spring lines. And over there, there are two ahead, two on the forward part. It goes out as headline, and these two as well goes out as headlines. So these two over here and the two over there can be interchanged as headlines and spring lines depending on which side the vessel will moor. Okay. And this one is for heaving the extra line. 
or heaving the messenger line from the tug before securing it to the bitch. That's the whole forecastle area. 